What's up guys, it's your boy Darshkin, and today we're going to be talking about the Gacha Pawn Priority. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my last couple of videos, I've already went over the Mirror Coin Gacha Pawns, and I've went over the old Vera Coin Gacha Pawns. So, between the Mirror the mirror Coin ones, there's four of them, and you, you gotta go between those four, and then the old Vera Coin ones, there are two of them, so we gotta go between those two, and then you just gotta pick whichever ones, you know, take priority. Now, if you're, now if you wanna know what I say as far as that, um, there's all four of these, but the biggest one that, you know, that you should prioritize over all of them is the Samir Gachapon. Now, the reason why is because uh, Samir Matrix is one of the one of two in-game matrix that you're going to be using for in-game players and if you're a free-to-play or light spender or someone that doesn't summon for matrix samir matrix is going to be very very good for you if you guys don't know her two piece increased damage progressively by one percent upon hitting the target stacks up to 10 times lasts for 1.5 seconds so basically you get a 10 percent damage increase just off of you know using this matrix which is going to be really really good you add that on top of samir's uh 4k trait which gives increased 20 percent damage now you're going to be getting a 30 percent increased damage add this along with crow's matrix two piece that gives you extra crit damage on enemies that are below 60 percent and you're going to be dishing out a lot of damage not to mention later on in the game we're going to be getting crit percentages and our crit rate is going to be a lot higher so you're going to be critting most of the time so for most of the dps in the game you're going to be running two piece of mirror two piece crow so this is going to allow you to basically build two dps's right because they're giving you four pieces so now all you need is four piece crow and you can build out two dps's so anyways this should be the one that you do first not to mention uh they give out some of these buffs right here which uh increase physical attack increase frost attack increase volt attack and then increase flame attack these bottles you're gonna pop this it's gonna give you a damage boost for the next <clears throat> 900 seconds so this is gonna be something that you really want to get as soon as possible now that we're done talking about that one you can look towards either this one that gives you the 10 red nucleus and it gives you some vera gifts on top of some other stuff or you can look at the Huma Matrix one because it does give you Huma Matrix. Huma Matrix isn't going to be good on most characters, but there are some characters that will benefit from this. Four piece Huma on Huma uh, is going to be really, really good for her. Two piece Huma on Frig is going to be amazing. I know a lot of people have Frig, but they may not have two piece Huma. So this is going to allow you to get that. Uh, and then any character that is doing a lot of dash attacks could benefit from the two-piece humor early on until you get a better two-piece set for that character so two-piece humor is going to be really nice for them so i say uh first you want to do the samir one and after samir you can get the red nucleus here or you can get the human matrix here the last one you care to max out is going to be this one simply because this one doesn't have red nucleus it doesn't have any matrix it does have some matrix summons but that's kind of whatever the main thing that you have here is just like cosmetic mask you don't really need to do this at all now the thing about this on the cn version they actually have extra gotcha pawns behind the gotcha pawn so let's say you completely clear this one out they will have another gotcha pawn behind this now obviously we don't have it on global yet because we just got the gotcha pawns but as far as cn goes apparently um it was supposed to be two samir matrix so this was never supposed to be Huma. This is supposed to be Samir, but it's not. It's, they made it Huma. So after you max out the Samir one right here, we should be getting. Uh, well, they could do any. They could do any Matrix set. So this is we don't know, but we should be getting either Crow or Huma behind here because there were two Samirs and there were two Humas, and then another Gachapon had a Crow, but we're not sure. But clearing out Samir is really good, and then if they give us a Crow one. You literally just have two dps builds already so anyways samir is going to be the best one then you want to go huma and the red nucleus and then after that you can go for the masks now moving on to the old vera coin um gotcha pawn we're going to go ahead and make our way to mirafleur hall where we can find the first one now that you're here at mirafleur hall you can go and get on your vehicle if you want to and you're going to come over here and we will find our first old vera coin now this one right here is just the human matrix one but anyways old vera coin now this one has dark crystals 
it has red nucleus and then it has a couple of other you know resources as well i would say that you should prioritize this one because it has the summons and the dark crystals right so that that's going to be the main takeaway because the other one doesn't have the red nucleus so you have the red nucleus you got the dark crystals you have a vehicle piece and everything like that so i say most likely you want to prioritize this one however if we go to the other old vera coin gotcha pond there is something interesting there that you may need depending on where you are in the game that one's going to be in the hazardous mat materials lab so we're going to go ahead and make our way there now that we're at the hazardous materials lab you just want to make your way to the gotcha ponds over here right i i usually come up here and then fly across and then it's going to be back here the other old vera is going to be back here as well and i believe the masks are about back here with it so this right here is going to be the masks which is just a mirror that's whatever and then this one is going to be the old vera now this one also has a vehicle and dark crystals but instead of red nucleus it has the uh, limited matrix summons here so for most people they'd probably want the red nucleus now i would now before we continue this is something that's going to be very very important for a lot of players and what this does is if you look at your suppressor once you get all the way over here you will start to need potent omnium crystal 2 so you will need these but that's that's only if you're all the way up here at 8.1 um to be fair a lot of people aren't gonna be there like i'm i'm not there right now right so you need 42,000 to go up from here um and then and i mean i could if i like you know change some of my stuff i could get to 42,000. but regardless of me being at 42,000 or whatever i'm not gonna be all the way over here at the eights so if you guys don't need this yet you don't have to prioritize this gotcha pond but if you most likely if you're a spender or a whale you will need it so you can do this one but for the vast majority of people you can just prioritize the red nucleus and you'll be good to go so for the mirrors do the samir one then the red nucleus and huma and then the masks and for the old vera coins do the red nucleus one and then you can come do the um suppressor material but anyways that is the priority for everything as far as these gotcha pawns go now you can do whatever you want i'm not your parent but this is just what i would prioritize so anyways that's going to be it for this video be sure to give a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys in the comment section about that being said i will see you guys next time peace